Hey guys, it's Rianne, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful flapper makeup um, that's kind of 1920s inspired, and I'm also going to show you a little bit of the costume that I put together. Many celebrities have rocked this look, including Kim Kardashian and Lauren Conrad, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's start off with the makeup. Okay, so to start this look off, I'm just going to be applying some Urban Decay Primer Potion. Make sure you blend this all over your lids and underneath your eye a little bit as well. And now going in with Naked from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, I'm going to take that on this fluffy brush. And you can use any tan color you want to, really. And I'm just going to go ahead and create almost like a watercolor wash with this. So I'm going to apply it all over both of my eyelids, all the way to underneath the brow and underneath the eye as well. This will help with making sure that the um, look can be blended out better later. Now I'm taking Buck from the Urban Decay Naked Palette on that same little fluffy brush and I'm just going to put this in my crease in order to deepen out the look a little bit. You can use any color that you want to that's a little bit darker than the first color you used. We just want it to be kind of subtle. And now going in with Naked again on a shader brush, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my lid. Again, this is just going to help us to be able to blend out the smokiness of the look a little bit later. So we're just going to make sure we have a good foundation of this color down. And the next thing I'm going to do is take Buck again on this pencil brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this, well apparently I'm going to adjust my mirror, okay? And I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes to begin that sort of smoky look that they definitely had in the 20s. So now I'm taking Brown Down, which is a color by MAC, and this pencil brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and get that on the brush and put it underneath my eyes as well. This is definitely what's going to set off that smokiness that they had in all of the pictures I looked at from the 20s. And when you're done with that, you're actually going to line your upper lash line as well with this color. You don't have to be too precise, but we're just sort of working towards that smoky look. Next, I'm going to take this fluffy brush, and I don't have any product on it. I'm just starting to smoke out the look a little bit and blend it. Now I am taking this Blue Had Me at Hello Wet n Wild palette. I'm taking this matte black color on the pencil brush and I'm just going to go ahead and tap off the excess so I don't get any fallout and I'm just going to line my upper lash line with this color. I really, really, really recommend this color if you're looking for a good matte black because it's really high quality but it's also relatively inexpensive. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that on the upper lid as well. And you can start to blend it out with the pencil brush or you can wait until you use a fluffy brush. Either way will work. So next I'm going to take my fluffy brush and make it again and I'm just going to get a little bit this time and I'm going to start to really start to blend the whole look out a little bit more. This is definitely something that they did in the 20s. Now I'm going in with Buck from the Urban Decay Naked palette and the fluffy brush and I'm just going to reapply that to my um, crease area just to make sure that that color is really reading through the look. Now I'm taking Blanc Type by MAC and this shader brush, and I'm going to use this as my highlight. And I'm just going to load that up on this brush and put it underneath my brow, and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. You don't have to blend it out too well because it's already kind of naturally happening. So now I'm taking ELF's Liquid Liner in black, and I'm just going to line my upper lash line. Um, I'm going to actually create a little wing at the very end, but not too much of a wing because they didn't really have that prominent of wings in the pictures that I looked at from the 20s. Um, if you don't get it the first time, don't sweat it. I definitely had to take a few tries to do it on the opposite eye from the one that you're looking at right now. But once you get it and it's sort of, um, you know, symmetrical, then it'll definitely be worth it. So just keep trying until you get it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply a blush. I'm taking my favorite natural blush, which is Totally Tawny by Clinique, and I'm going to pop that on this blush brush. And I'm actually going to place this on the apples of my cheeks because it's a little hard to tell how they applied their blush in the 20s because the pictures were black and white. But when they added the pigments after they developed the pictures, they definitely focused the blush on the cheeks. So that's what I'm going to go for with this look. Now I'm taking my favorite chapstick, which is Burt's Bees chapstick, and I'm just putting that down. This will help for my lips getting dried out by any of the colors we put on and help the liner go on a little bit better. The lip liner I'm using is the Hot Red by NYX, 
And this will definitely help the color stay on a lot longer if you're going to be wearing it on Halloween or going to a party or on stage for that matter. Um, it definitely will help if you line your lips beforehand. You can use any color that is close to your lips or a red, but I definitely recommend a red lip liner because it just kind of gives that extra um, security that it will stay on. It's kind of like lipstick insurance, if you will. So now I am taking Rimmel's Berry Queen lipstick and I'm going to apply this, I would say, pretty generously. I really want the color to be very, very red. And after I've applied that, I'm going to go ahead and take this brush and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I precisely sort of distribute the color and make sure that I fill in my lips exactly how I want them to be filled in. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer and I'm going to take a different brush and I'm just going to use this to outline my lips. This will definitely create the illusion of perfect lips and it works out perfectly using both of them. So here's the finished look, minus my brows being filled in. I forgot to fill them in until I got outside, so I filled them in in the part where I'm outside. So here is the real finished makeup look. This is the 1920s flapper makeup that we've tried to achieve. And no 1920s flapper costume is complete without a headband with feathers. I just made this one from some stuff I found at my local craft store. I used a peacock feather, a feather boa, and some jewels, and I hot glued them to this little um, headband that I got from like CVS. So um, just put that on your head and sort of adjust it until it is comfortable. This will definitely distinguish you as a flapper. Another key element to this costume is a pearl necklace because apparently in the 20s they wore pearl necklaces. So I'm just going to accessorize with that. And what you're also going to want is a dress with fringe. As you can tell by my dress, it's actually just draped fabric, but any dress that has this sort of look to it is definitely very 1920s. Any dress that you can essentially do this in will definitely work. <laughs> And as for shoes, I chose these black pumps by Calvin Klein. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you're thinking of being for Halloween, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.